Hi, welcome everyone. Yes, check it out. Oxygen around the moon, oxygen around Earth. Maybe the oxygen we see between. This is, it's only the, not even the half moon at all, actually. And we're seeing the whole sphere. I always like showing you that. Some people say the Earth shrine, whatever the reason, we're seeing it. There it is, the beautiful moon. That was the moon two days ago, ladies and gents. We got some nice close-ups along the Terminator line. I want to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to subscribe and to like the videos. Yes, after four or five years, I'm going to start asking for those of you to take the time, please, by leaving me a thumbs up. It means everything. A thumbs up is just like a dollar, my friends, because it attracts other people to come and see the research that I'm doing. I have a lot of videos that are revealing a lot of findings that would be absolutely have remained classified if it was the Space Force, the Pentagon, or the CIA, or national security, or probably any other country. They would not show the people exactly what I'm showing on the moon. As lucky as I was to be able to see that truth and proof, I'm here sharing it with you all. So thanks for taking the time to contribute to the channel by simply coming by each and every time you can. Don't change anything you're doing. Thanks, everybody. Let's take an amazing look at this beautiful moon along the Terminator line from two days ago. The oxygen that is in the atmosphere that is around Earth, which is called the geocorona, that is what tells us how far the oxygen around Earth extends to. And guess what? It extends many, 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 many thousands of miles, if not over 100,000 kilometers or miles, I'm not sure, past the moon. So Earth's geocorona, where the oxygen is around Earth, extends very far beyond the moon's reach. So could there be oxygen on the moon higher than what they are saying that the oxygen levels are? Most likely, yes. Well, we know that the sun is supposed to be active right now and leading up to 2025, the sun is supposed to be extremely, extremely active. In the past, with my experience and the little bit of experience that I have in five years while you're looking at this double lunar wave, hello, awesome, totally, totally awesome, a double lunar wave going by from one end of the other to the moon, just passing by one after the other and look it does the whole length of the moon crow 777 had showed the most amazing lunar wave and here is a double one you can obviously obviously see that it's the exact same thing or very similar let's just say is it a lunar ripple is a lunar wave a real term let's go and see so I'm already back. There's no definition for lunar wave. And obviously, it was a, a term that Crow 77 or somebody had applied to that finding. But let me tell you, these are ripples. And they're, they are waves in space and time. And that's exactly why I called it just that. And that's exactly what we're looking at. Now, here's the thing. Is this coming 
um, across um, the moon being seen coming from the sun? Is it because there's a large celestial object in the solar system causing magnetic um, disturbances? Is it the moon that has a force field around it and it looks like it's resetting itself? Or is there water around the moon and that we're looking at clear water and that's a wave? So, you know, you, do you get what I'm getting at? It's just a whole bunch of speculative theories because science itself is a theory. There's nothing saying that um, lunar waves exist and that they're they're known, but I'm sure they are if we're seeing them, if uh, more than one person sees them. wonderful blues and greens as you will see we will zoom in along the apennine right into the apennine mountains and look at all the blues and greens and browns and grays around it and let me tell you duh it ain't refraction refraction is a twinkling sparkle and look at the surface there's color there oh yeah we can see it
Coming soon. 